the importance of supplier onboarding. What is supplier onboarding and why is it important? Hi everyone, my name is Gulani Shulubani and I'm the founder and chief solutionist at Shuluva. And today I'll be discussing the importance of supplier onboarding. In the HR field, we talk about the onboarding process being one of those make or break procedures in the life cycle of both parties. This is either a new employee or a new team member and the organization. Getting it right has enormous advantages while getting it wrong spells disaster for both parties. The same can be said about the onboarding process of a new supplier to an organization or a new client. So what is supplier onboarding? Supplier onboarding is a process of collecting prospective vendor information, assessing the vendor's compliance and risk, and integrating them onto your platform and supply chain. Simply put, supplier onboarding is about creating streamlined processes to build stronger buyer vendor relationships that result in improved business outcomes for both parties. Why is it important? There are five main reasons why vendor onboarding is important for any organization. The first being it helps to build strong relationships. Vendor onboarding allows for both the vendor and the organization to partner with each other that will see a partnership that is likely to break down because of miscommunication, misunderstandings, and any mishap that might happen between a vendor and a new client. It gives competitive leverage. Vendor onboarding, as well as continuous management of vendors, results in very little supply surprises from a supply perspective, therefore allowing your organization to stay on top of things. If you're on top of things, it means that your clients are happy. If your clients are happy, it means you are one step ahead against your competitors. It improves efficiency and profitability. When done right, vendor onboarding ensures that everything happens when it should happen. It costs no more than it should, and therefore improving efficiency, getting things done as they should, improving profitability because the organization is spending no more than it should on its needs. It helps mitigate risk. Inducting your vendor during the onboarding process means you're in a process of educating them about how things work within your organization. You've all, it also means that you've done your background checks and all the vetting necessary for your, from your, from your, for your new supplier. Therefore, you avoid any surprises and any risk that might come from missing this particular step. It is also very important from a brand perspective as it aids brand reliability. If you and your supplier know when things should happen, how it should happen and when it should happen, it means that you are able to provide a consistent product or service to your clients. If you are consistent in this regard, it means that your brand is recognized as a brand that people can rely on and therefore you have brand reliability. Supplier onboarding, workflow, onboarding best practice. There are four main steps in this particular workflow. The first being pre-qualification, the second being requesting, selection, and vetting, the third being training and activation, and the fourth and final step being feedback. Pre-qualification, fully understanding what your vendor needs are beforehand, both from a product and service perspective, as well as a governance perspective, ensures that you are requesting supply and vendor information from the right kind of vendor. Simply put, if the organization does not understand what it needs from a vendor, nobody else will, 
and this will be the first and crucial mistake you make in the supply chain process. Request, select, selection, and vetting. Based on the needs of the organization, request, select, and vet, and vet the vendors, ensuring that all the T's have been crossed and all the I's have been dotted. Set up a vendor portal if you don't already have one. The portal should have a, should have a form with all the vendor information you will require to help the organization fast track this process. This is also a great way to stay on top of vendor data, which is necessary in the supply and chain process. This improves accuracy of your data and streamlines the information process. Training and activation. This is where a bulk of your time on the onboarding process of a vendor will be spent. Here, the organization needs to do the following things. It needs to set out their expectations. What are they looking for? When are they looking for it? And how often will they be looking for that particular product or service? Who are they looking, who are they looking to supply this product or service? And how does this need to be done? All these questions need to be answered and they need to be answered explicitly. There can be no doubt whatsoever when you're setting out your expectations from to a vendor. You need to set out your policies, practices and systems. It's important that your vendors understand what policies are in place that affect them, what practices are in place in the organization in order to help them and that they should be aware of and any systems that they need to be aware of as well. This could be simple things like how they should invoice you and what the invoicing process looks like in your organization. This will save you time and money. Finalize any paperwork such as contracts so everybody understands the legalities that they're getting themselves into. It's important that you ensure that your vendors, and especially if you require uh, acquiring products and services from a small to medium enterprise, that they understand exactly what it is that they're getting themselves into. That way, it enables them to always perform at an optimal level. Share information internally. I can't stress this enough. It's amazing how you will onboard a supplier from a supply chain perspective but the other departments internally don't know that there's a new supplier and what is going on in that regard. It is important from an organization perspective in the onboarding process that you communicate everything that's happening from a supply chain perspective internally as well. And the third one from a training and activation perspective, continuously communicate, be it from with your vendors or internally. Communication will help you to stay on top of data. Data is very important when you are um, procuring services. This will allow you to make sure that you're always procuring the right kind of service from the right kind of vendor at the right price and at the right time for your organizational needs. The last and final um, process practice from an onboarding perspective in terms of your suppliers, give feedback. As you develop your onboarding process, keep communication front of mind at all times. We always say that communication is the break or make of any relationship, even so much so that we, this saying has become a cliche. But as I always like to say, cliches are cliches because they hold truth. So it's important that communication is front of mind. Your process should make it easy for different departments and stakeholders in the supply chain to share information, have access to vendor data, so that all parties are acting on the best information. I understand how for larger organizations, such a process can be tedious and sometimes time consuming. But I, as I always say, if you do something once, you do it right and you don't have to do it again and you perfect the practice so much so that it becomes easier with every vendor that you do. And finally, remember, there's always three things. Like I said, this should never be a tick box exercise. Do it right and do it once. This will save time and resources. This brings me to the next step. 
invest the necessary tools and resources to the onboarding process. You can't just expect to have a checklist to check that checklist and for that to be that. It is important that you invest time and resources. This will include time, something that sometimes we don't always have much of in the workday, but if you invested right and you invested once, then you're done with that particular vendor. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Ensure that all your data is always up to date. Ensure that you always have the information that you need from your vendors when you need it. And this again brings me to the a thing that I just said a few minutes ago. This will come by by communication. So ensure that your data is correct. Ensure that everybody has the right data. Make sure that everybody has access to the data and the onboarding process between you and your supplier will, will mean that you guys are always on the same page. Everybody's delivering what they need to deliver and when they need to deliver by. And that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much.